and welcome to an Adventure Craft tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering how to make NPCs path. In particular, what we're looking at is a map called Super Mario Craft 64. Uh, it's by Kevin Gitz and the Leon. And what we're basically there's part of this map. There's a where you're supposed to be racing against a Koopa. Um, unfortunately, they didn't know really how to script, so um, and no one else has done actually NPC pathing. So I'm going to be actually showing here how we're going to get this Koopa to race. So first off, uh, for their map, uh, Super Mario 64, you can see here they got Bowser's ca uh, the castle. Um, and then the map that's actually in question is the bomb battlefield. And here you can see the Koopa right here. And he is supposed to race up here to the top and you're supposed to beat him up there. So now let's go over here and start looking at the scripts. So in the scripts, there's basically first thing we're gonna do is the NPC here. I've already got him up, and this is the Koopa. And what we have is his script for on created uses the Koopa created script. Uh, that script, if we come over here and look, all it does is assign the variable Koopa for entity. So when an NPC script executes, entity just references the NPC or the scripted living entity. So in this case. All we're doing is assign entity to Koopa. Mainly it helps for debugging. I can just easily type in Koopa into the debug stuff and get him to do stuff. Now, a script that just basically to restore the Koopa always back to the original position when things start is this simple script. What we do here is we set the Koopa's position to 84.5, 64, 97.5. And if we come over here, turn on debug, what we see is basically we are he's currently already in that starting position if we move around over here so that's good disable debug all right and back to uh, here so um, another thing is um, to make the race feel like you actually have a challenge uh, we're going to modulate the uh, movement speed you often see this in racing games where casual racing games where you just to make it you know just kind of rubber band them back and forth their speed so what it does is it uh, calculates the distance to the top of the, the where the flag you're trying to get to and then it takes so we figure that out the distance for both the Koopa and the player and make sure uh, we don't divide by zero we're going to be divide, making sure the player's distance is always at least one and the basic way we're working is the Koopa's move speed is 0 0.7 plus the minimum of 0 0.25 times the Koopa distance divided by the player distance. So that way, if the Koopa is farther away than the player, the p Koopa's going to go faster than it would normally, and if the player is um, further, is closer, uh, is farther away, then it's, the Koopa's actually going to sl go slower. And the Koopa speed at max is going to be of 0 0.7 plus 0 0.4 since we're taking the min here. Um, and actually, if the Koopa distance and the player distance are the same, um, the Koopa's move speed 0.95, and the player speed's one, so the player always has always has a slight advantage as a result. All right, and this, as we'll see, is if I come in here, oops, get turned on debug mode. If we look at the scripts, we set this to the on update script for the Koopa. Now, to actually get the NPC path in and stuff, there's actually a bunch of path scripts first one that it does is Cooper path zero start .js. so first off we just set the position to where we want it to be then we tell it the path to a certain block uh, 107, 69, 93 and then on path reached we actually put it the next path in script so we have a total of uh, uh, five path in scripts and each of them just advances to the next place where we want to go prints out a message to the uh, to the chat window that just says, oh, we reached this node, and this lets us get all the way up to the top. So it actually triggers the uh, init initial one is over here. If we come over here, there's a script block. When this trigger gets activated, it hits this script block, and on trigger selected, you can see it actually starts Koopa Path 0 start.js. So, and you can see that once the if Koopa reaches this coordinate, Koopa path 1.js is going to start, which then tells the Koopa to path to the next coordinate. Once that's reached, goes to the next one, which goes on to the next one, which goes to the next one, and there's actually a set position here, because there's actually a little 
space gap that has to be jumped and instead of trying to make the Koopa actually jump it, we just go ahead and teleport the Koopa across. And the final one, it's reaching the top, Koopa path reached the top, and all that really says is the Koopa path reached, uh, the Koopa reached the top, and we initialize on path reached back to empty string. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to demo this. So this should be kind of interesting to watch, and there you go, you can see it now. All right, so here we are. We're actually recording out the fight race. And what? First off, you see this red line that's going. This is actually rendering the uh, path that the Koopa is trying to follow. And I'm here, basically racing ahead of the Koopa. And you can see the path's actually changing slightly as we're going, because the NPC actually will recalculate the path as it's progressing. And you can see it's going along, reaches that node, and gets suddenly a new path as it reaches that node, which is running the next script basically. As we discussed, there's multiple pathing scripts. And this probably will get simplified in the future where I'll let you add multiple path nodes at all at once. And here we can see he's uh, we're racing halfway up the top. We're almost there. And he's following right behind. This is actually where the NPC does that little teleport I talked about. Oh, he's cl closing in on us. Here we are, going up the top, almost there. Racing up, racing up. NPC's path is pretty good. Let's see, it looks pretty nice, and he's right on our uh, feet, back of our feet there. NPC, you can actually see pass over to the edge there. Oh, but we beat the NPC, and here he is. And that's it.